getting stuck. Man trapped in ATM gets withdrawn by cops. A Texas contractor found himself held captive by a cash machine and had to go old school to get out. The worker was changing the locks for the ATM vestibule when he was locked in because he left his swipe card in the truck. Poor fella also left his phone so he couldn't call for help. But the ATM was working just fine and what he did have was a pen and paper. He resorted to slipping notes through the receipt slot, begging people to please help. I'm stuck in here and I don't have my phone. Please call my boss. Unfortunately for him, everyone who got the note thought it was a bizarre joke, and the poor man was stuck for two hours until someone took it seriously enough to call the cops. Even the cops didn't think it was for real, even after they heard a little voice coming from the machine. Still, they eventually came to the man's rescue, kicking down the door to finally get him out. Now there's a man who's never been so happy to get away from a cash machine. <laughs> Crazy! American exchange student gets stuck in stone love crack. This American exchange student in Germany found himself literally caught between a rock and a hard place when he accepted his friend's dare. There's a statue on the campus of Tübingen University, which is just south of Stuttgart, Germany, called Pichakan. That's Peruvian for lovemaking, and the statue is shaped like a giant vagina. So, of course, it makes perfect sense that two goofy exchange students from the U.S. decide to try to reenact their own births on a dare for all of Instagram to see. However, it seems that they failed to realize that this was only a representation of the female organ, and they both forgot to bring some industrial strength lube. In the end, the stuck student was freed from the anatomically correct crevasse while getting laughed at by locals, jeered by firefighters, and pointed at by little kids. Bunch of freaks. That poor puppy. New Year's Eve was harrowing for one terrier who almost lost a paw to an escalator at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. The dog was flying back to New York with its humans that night and was walking up an escalator when its hind leg was swallowed by the escalator guard. The freaked out owners attempted to free their pooch only to get bitten by the distressed animal. Airport security tried to help but couldn't free the pup without the proper tools. Firefighters eventually saved the day, freeing the terrier from the escalator's clutches and returning it to its humans, both of whom refused treatment for their bites. The dog wasn't seriously injured, but the incident should serve as a warning to keep animals off the moving steps. Woman gets finger jammed in immersion blender. This is an x-ray image showing the hand of a woman who got her finger sliced before getting stuck in an immersion blender. The image was posted to Figure One, an app and website where doctors can share medical images. According to the nurse who uploaded the post, an unidentified 34-year-old woman was in the process of making falafel when a chickpea got stuck in one of the blades. The woman then attempted to dislodge the chickpea. The only problem is that Einstein didn't turn the blender off. So once the chickpea was out, the blade started spinning again. Her finger then got stuck after the blade became embedded in her flesh. Luckily for the woman, the only injury she received was a torn nail. Almost getting her finger chopped off obviously didn't cause any lasting psychological damage either because the nurse reported that the woman asked to take the blender home with her. Kid leaks on elevator buttons and gets stuck. When some people, a kid from Chongqing in China in this case, use an elevator, they just have to be different. This little guy jumped on the elevator on February 23rd and then decided he would release some soy sauce from his little dragon. He went up himself, setting his sights high on the elevator control panels. After he was ready to get out, karma kicked in and the door malfunctioned, scaring the piss out of the kid. Well, maybe not piss. Tinkle Toes later had to be rescued by maintenance crews. The yellow rainer said he didn't do it and his dad believes him. Unfortunately, the video exposes some leaks in the kid's story. Indiana family go out of their way to save a buck. Aren't they, aren't they all fucked up looking?
Get him away from the, the river because he's just gonna try to. There you go. It's recording. Now this is what you call a crappy first date. A woman in Bristol takes the cake for most horrific Tinder date ever, after she had to be rescued whilst fishing out her own poop from a window. Her evening started off romantic with dinner at Nando's, followed by wine. Oh, and a riveting Scientology documentary back at the dude's flat. Things went awry when the girl took a dump in the bathroom and discovered that it wouldn't flush. Panicked, she picked up the turd and chucked it out the window into what she assumed was the garden. Instead, the poo fell into a gap between the window panes. <laughs> Oops! Genius Day then decided she'd use her gymnastic skills to retrieve the runaway turd and climbed head first into the gap. And while she did end up getting out the poop, she also managed to get herself stuck in the process. After trying to yank her out for 15 minutes, the dude friend finally called the fire brigade for help. Firefighters came in and freed the woman, though not without destroying the window. Yeah. As replacing it is set to cost about 300 pounds, the man has taken his cause to GoFundMe. His ridiculous first date story has raked in more than a thousand pounds on the crowdfunding site, and he says he'll donate any profits to two charities. Of course, all the Twitterati want to know is when he and Little Miss Poopy are going to get back together again. Marathon German cave rescue effort enters final stage. A marathon 10-day rescue operation to recover an injured man from Germany's deepest cave system is about to enter its final stage, officials have said. 52-year-old Johann Westhauser and two friends were climbing inside the 1,000-meter deep Riestinger cave in the Bavarian Alps on June the 8th when he was injured during a rockfall. Following the accident, one of the men remained with Westhauser while the other made a 12-hour climb to the surface to seek help. The marathon rescue effort has involved carrying Westhauser through the network of caves to a series of staging camps. Westhauser and the underground rescue team of 15 cavers and two doctors are now at the final camp around 400 meters below the surface where they were set to rest before tackling the final leg that includes a narrow vertical stretch where they will be buffeted by water. Westhauser was one of a group of cavers who discovered the massive underground cave system in the 1990s. Man's tools get stuck in socket wrench. Not really sure how people in the UK use socket wrenches, but this tool actually got his nuts and bolts stuck in one. This do-it-yourselfer from Newport, Wales, really did it to himself. Once he and his tool became attached, the tool started to get a bit too clingy, so the handyman was forced to call 911. After emergency crews arrived, they went to work freeing the man's tools from his little boxes. Firefighters even sent on a warning on Twitter afterwards. Naturally, Twitter responded the way you would expect Twitter to respond. Bungling Burglar A man has been dubbed the Bungling Burglar by police in Radcliffe, England, after he got stuck trying to enter a house through the window. 47-year-old Sean Crawshaw was in the process of breaking and entering when he got his head lodged in a small bathroom window 15 feet above the ground. The home 60-something-year-old owner returned later to find the unwanted guest and called police. It took firefighters 20 minutes to rescue the would-be burglar who injured his ear when they tried to pull him out of the bathroom window. Crawshaw was sentenced to two and a half years in prison at a court hearing for the December incident. <laughs> 